Hey guys, Alien Puppy here. We're going to do some more work with dividing decimals, and this time we'll focus on solving. My friend Space Robot gave me an 87 and 2 tenths pound bag of galactic gummy worms. I'm eating one right now. I love them. I equally divided the galactic gummy worms into 20 small bags. Let's figure out the weight of each small bag. I have 87.2 divided by 20. 20 does not go into 8, but it will go into 80. And I know that 20 times 4 is 80. This is important. The 4 has to go right above the 7. 4 times 20 is 80. I subtract. And, oh, we have to deal with the decimal. I bring the decimal straight up. Didn't forget about it. Bring down my next digit and keep on going. 2 times 3 is 6, so this will be 3. 3 times 20 is 60. I subtract. And in the past, you may have written just remainder 12. But in 5th grade, we're going to deal with that. Put a 0 and keep on going. 2 times 6 is 12, so this is 6. Yay, we have a zero remainder. Each small bag of galactic gummy worms was four and thirty-six hundredths pounds. Space Robot, it's your turn. Hello, Earthlings. I'm Space Robot. Look at the math problem shown. What is the quotient? Remember, the quotient is the answer you get when you are dividing. Let's look at one part at a time. Will 68 go into four? No. Let's do another digit. Oh, wait, there's a decimal. Bring the decimal straight up, then forget about it. Will 68 go into 47? No, that is silly. However, we must put this zero because it is holding a place behind the decimal. I like to go ahead and say minus zero. Now let's bring down the next digit. Oh my, I do not know how many times 68 will go into 476. I do know that 68 is close to 70. And that 70 times 7 would be 490. So I will try 68 times 7. If that is too much, I will go back to 68 times 6. I hit it exactly. Aren't I good? The answer is 7 hundredths. Allie, it is your turn. Hey, guys. I'm Allie, the alien gold medalist. Before my last race, I trained by running on a trail that was 16 and 24 hundredths miles long. Space Robot marked the trail off into eight sections of equal length, and he placed a bottle of water at the end of each section. What was the length of each section of the trail? Let's get some workspace. Okay, eight does not go into one, but it will go into 16 two times. Two times eight is 16. Subtract, and before I bring down my next digit, I have to deal with that decimal. I take the decimal straight up and forget about it. Okay, now let's bring down the next digit. Eight will not go into two, and we have to put the zero because it's a placeholder. Zero times eight is zero. Subtract. Bring down the next digit. Eight will go into 24 three times. Subtract, and yay, I have a zero remainder. Each piece of the trail was two and three hundredths miles long. Okay, Earthlings, it is your turn to answer a question. 